Hello. And hello. Thank you so much for joining me today. How you doing? I saw this video pop up and I just have to know. Is a new hate speech law killing German comedy? <sighs> Clearly, it's highly controversial. A lot of people aren't finding this video funny. I'll tell you that much. Um, it's by BBC, small and up-and-coming YouTube channel. Check them out. Link down below. Granted, it's five years ago. In the full course of time, that's pretty new still, I'd say. I need to know. What's the law? That hurts my eyes looking at that. But is a new law limiting freedom of speech? <laughs> I find that to be kind of a funny question. It's like, well, any law making any speech illegal is in some way limiting free speech. Now, maybe that's, you know, yelling fire in a crowded movie theater. Maybe that should be illegal. Um, but yeah, that's... Technically limiting free speech, yeah. Last year, Parliament here behind me has passed one of the strictest online hate speech laws worldwide. Here in Germany, big social media companies are asked to remove hate speech within 24 hours. You hear that, guys? You can't be mean to me anymore, okay? All those people calling me a stupid American. You need to stop. Or face millions in fines. But it's millions? It's not only hate speech that was deleted in the first few months. Sophie Passmann is a stand-up comedian and radio host. She works for Neo Magazine Royale, one of the most popular late-night shows in German TV. Mm. She suddenly found herself accused of spreading hate speech. We have this custom in Germany where every New Year's Eve we watch the same stupid movie. It's <laughs> Dinner for One! Called Dinner for One. And we did that and I hate that movie. As usual... You can't say you hate that movie, you can't say you hate anything. That's hate speech. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Calm down. Millions of Germans watched this goofy British skit this past New Year's Eve. The next day, Sophie posted a joke about it on Twitter. As long as it's tradition here to watch dinner for one on New Year's Eve, refugees are welcome to come here and destroy our culture. Oh, I get it. Okay, she because she hates the movie. I was, I was prepared to laugh at her joke, but honestly, it took me a second. Okay, she wants the refugees to come <laughs> destroy the culture because that's a fear-mongering thing. I think this is, you know, hmm, it's definitely walking a little line there, huh? A little controversial. I think she's mostly poking fun at the idea, oh, refugees are destroying your culture. She's like, well, our culture ain't that good. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty funny. I was making fun about people who actually say that refugees come to our country and destroy our culture, which is just stupid. Then I received uh, on that, that evening, I received an email from Twitter saying that they checked uh, the, the content of that uh, twi tweet and they had to ban it within German law. A similar message. I could see how something, you know, it gets very hairy. It gets very hairy because the platform like Twitter or whatever, if they're being held liable for what you post online, then they're going to be very, very uh, strict, you know? Like, maybe this joke she posted didn't actually violate the law, but Twitter's not going to risk that, you know, million-dollar fine just to keep her tweet up. So they'd rather just remove it. Appeared on Sophie's timeline where the tweet had been before. This tweet from Sophie Passmann has been withheld in Germany based on local laws. The deletion of Sophie's joke made headlines all over Germany, mm -hmm. and after a few days it was reinstated again by Twitter. There shouldn't be a law against bad jokes, because that would mean that half of the comedians in Germany aren't, wouldn't be allowed to, to be on stage. So oh! I think she meant bad jokes like, um, like in poor taste, but... Either that or she just called half of German comedians bad, which is funny. Shots fired. 
So um, it was just a bad joke and it wasn't hate speech. And that made me angry that they um, took my freedom of speech in that very moment. But some experts are speaking out in favor of the law. A group of researchers recently published a paper evaluating it. They say it's a first step in the right direction. I always, I don't know what it is, maybe I'm just a skeptic at heart, but anytime people are like, some experts are saying, you know, they agree with this thing. I'm like, especially when it's something that's like a socio-political thing, it's like, what do you mean expert? This isn't a science. Like, he, these people just have opinions. That's just a small gripe I have, you know. I get that they spend a lot of their time thinking about their opinions, but does that really make them an expert? I don't know. I think the fear that has been has been voiced is that uh, there will be mass deletion um, of uh, posts uh, of um, of videos of of pictures that uh, are not in violation of the German criminal code, and uh, for that um, I do not see any evidence at the moment, at least. Um. I don't even have a strong opinion about that, but that was a very weak argument. That's just my opinion from the expert right there. No offense to the expert. <laughs> Another well-known artist who is worried about this new law is cartoonist Schwavo. I mean, the evidence was just in that that one girl, this girl's post got deleted. So there's one point of evidence. I guess it's subjective and relative to say, oh, is that too much? This is his take on it, a German judge telling Mark Zuckerberg what to do about hate speech. Sorry, let me... I, I miss this part about the cartoon. Well-known artist who is worried about this new law is cartoonist Schwavo. Mm, what's with the two glasses, huh? This is his take on it, a German judge telling Mark Zuckerberg what to do about hate speech. All right, the German judge, he's smoking a cig. He's showing the, the book in front of Zuckerberg. Okay, all right. Sure, yeah, okay. That depicts the situation decently. I, I, I like that the, the judge is smoking a blunt. <laughs> Earlier this year, Schwabe drew a satirical cartoon that was deleted by Facebook. It contains language that some people might find offensive. He was poking fun at H&M. The company was being called racist at the time for an ad that they were running. The cartoon shows a member of the AFD, a German right-wing populist party, walking into H&M and basically asking for an even more racist slogan on the sweater. Oh my god. I remember that. That was forever ago, but there was some weird... There was something weird at H&M with monkeys. It was very stupid, I remember. Bava thinks that because of this new law, Facebook are deleting more overall just to be on the safe side. He complained to the company. I explained I am... Um... I mean, that would make sense. That's what I said earlier. I think that's just, like, kind of logical. That's what might happen. Like, would... They're going to play on the safe side. Most likely. Uh, I'm in, in, in the satiric business and not in the hate speech business and they had many of so stories for me and uh, wasn't uh, willing to explain too much uh, to me uh, about their reasons. Facebook said that the decision didn't have anything to do with the new hate speech law, but they admitted it was taken down in error. They apologized to Schwabe and restored the cartoon. We asked both Facebook okay. and Twitter for a response on how they are implementing the requirements of this new law. Twitter didn't want to comment, but Facebook sent us this statement. Facebook reviews every NetCG report carefully and with legal expertise where appropriate. Facebook is not pursuing a strategy to delete more than necessary. That's good, I guess. Not all comedians in Germany think the law is a bad thing. Sophie's friend Michel Abdullahi is German-Iranian. Like Sophie, he receives a lot of abuse online. You and your religion don't belong to Germany. Go back to your country. What's a stupid talking about your... Michel doesn't think tweets like Sophie's should be blocked. 
but he agrees with the goals of the law. This law is, I don't know, it's like a toddler. Um, it's, it's, it's starting to walk and it's, it might be a little bit clumsy uh, right now, but I think it will grow in the, in the next years. But, but we did something and that is important. The German government is... Hmm. I never try to be very political. Honestly, I'm not very, not super political. But I have to say, that's kind of another weird statement. We did something and that's what's important. Uh, that's not always, the government doing something isn't always what you want, you know? The government can do bad things. So it's not necessarily, oh, the, yay, the government did something. That's good, that's important. I disagree with that sentiment. <laughs> Um, and especially when it comes to free speech. Of course now, maybe it's just the patriotic, brainwashed American within me. But I think free speech is important, and you got to be very careful about um, what kind of regulations are put on it. Um, and, of course, the, the fundamental question always comes up, who gets to determine what this, which speech is hate speech? Because maybe a future government will will be elected into office that you don't agree with. And they will say things are hate speech that you don't think are. Maybe talking bad about them. Alas, whatever. It's interesting. It's very interesting. Of course, the, the, um, the spirit of the law is in good taste. You know. Racism is very stupid. Any racist people out there? That's really stupid. Um, hmm, that's that's pretty fascinating. I, I, th this is five years ago. I wonder how it's played out and how uh, you know if the law has changed at all, especially with the people in this video talking about, oh, it's a toddler now. It's going to grow and become better. I wonder if it has. Fascinating, fascinating. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a good day.